going to the toilet. We all do it. But have you ever thought about going to the toilet in space? There wasn't much room on board the Apollo mission, certainly not for a proper toilet. So NASA thought of this, the fecal containment device, basically just a plastic bag that you would stick to your bare bottom. Now the astronaut would need about 45 minutes of time for the entire performance. They would strip completely naked, as it's a pretty messy job. Now some of these poo bags were left on the moon, the rest were brought back to Earth where it was some poor person's job to open this bag, have a look at the poo and experiment on it. Between 1986 and 2001, the Mir space station was in operation and hosted over 100 humans, including the first British person in space, Helen Sharman. She flew there on the Soyuz capsule, just like this one behind me, and would have peed and pooed in one of these things. Now, you had to work this thing manually. Male astronauts would wee into this adapter here. Females, like Helen Sharman of course, would need to use this adapter instead. So you would need to squeeze this orange ball, which would pull the wee out of your body and carry it down into this rubber bag. But for your poos, it would be a plastic bag inside of this container, after which, when it is full, is stored and then brought back to Earth. The International Space Station has two toilets just like this one. However, with their Wii, they don't vent it off into space. They actually collect it, recycle it and clean it and turn it back into drinking water. And then once that barrel is full of poo, it's actually sent straight back to planet Earth where it burns away in the Earth's atmosphere and looks just like a shooting star. So maybe just pause and think before you make a wish. So being an astronaut isn't quite as glamorous as you might think, but everybody needs to use the toilet at some point. Speaking of which, I've been holding it in.